Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this artwork of Crony from Hololive. So, I started out with the head like I always do. I went for a frontal view, kind of something easy and nothing too complex. Um, I actually really, really messed up the, uh, the structure in the beginning, and you'll see as this artwork goes that I'm just constantly changing it because, my god, it looks terrible. <laughs> The main issue was I didn't have a good reference in front of me, so I was kind of just winging it. Um, it is super important whenever you're drawing to have a reference. Don't make my mistake. Don't do this to yourself. Trust me, it's just, it's not good. So as you can see here, I'm starting to rethink everything, and I go for a three-quarters view on the head this time. And I'm actually super proud of the head in this artwork. I feel it's one of my better heads that I've done. Um, I've made many mistakes with heads. I'm slowly getting better at it, and I hope that maybe, maybe you can learn how to do it too. The, the main issue with drawing these heads is I don't use structure. I just do it from memory, and I don't have a good way to break it down for people. So that's on, that's on Bella. Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> So I started off with kind of this dynamic pose, but again, I only end up using half the body for this artwork, even though I drew a full body. Um, I just didn't like the full body pose, so I ended up getting rid of it. Also, if you like this video so far, it would help me out a whole lot if you'd like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. It helps out a whole lot. Um, I usually say this at the end, but I'm going to try saying it in the beginning here just to kind of... I don't know, maybe hope that you guys do it. So as you can see, I kind of tried to go for like a collared shirt thing, but then I thought, I don't know if I like that. So I started going for kind of a, a summer nightgown, maybe is the best way to call it. Um, I just wanted to look like a pretty like draping dress. It's, I've always enjoyed making that, so that's kind of what I did here. And here pretty soon you'll see me uh, change the uh, the composition. Adding the straps to the dress. Now I'm adjusting everything. Now I'm starting to add the eyes. Um, the eyes in the sketch actually weren't that great, but the final product I managed to fix it, so that's... Yay! Yay for fixing later. Okay, there's a huge jump in time here because I forgot to turn my recording back on, so we're going straight into the line art. But, um, I, I adjust manual thickness. Um, actually, my mistake. I don't know why I said it that way. I, um, I do my thickness of my lines manually. Um, there's a little bit of pen pressure, but not enough to be, like a huge factor in it. I just prefer to draw the thickness in myself. I ended up making that strap too thick, so I had to go back in and redo it. <laughs> We're about to have the nightmare that is drawing frills. Um, I'm slowly getting better at it, but I still feel like my frills could use a lot of work. Especially when it gets to the end or the corner. It just looks weird. Draw the cleavage here. Now, I'm not... I'm trying to make sure it looked like the skirt wasn't hugging too tight. Because um, I wanted it to look more like it draped a bit. Also, the sleeve was difficult because I had to uh, do more frills. And frills are the spawn of Satan. So, same with hands and feet. Bro, the moment AI figures out hands, I'm just gonna like be like, darn. <laughs> and now we're on to the eyes. Um, I recently started doing a new way of doing eyes where I keep um, the inside of the line art uncolored or not black because then I can go in and add color in later. And I think that ends up looking really good. Okay, so now for the hair. Okay, so the way I do hair is I try to curve to the shape of the head. 
hair kind of falls over the head as it kind of it basically wherever your head the line of the forehead is you want it, your hair to follow it almost like there's a, a bowl on top of the character it is incredibly difficult to explain hair for me because for the most part I just do it off of a feeling at this point there's a lot of curves sometimes you want to make your hair overlap the previous bit of hair and that tends to look a lot better don't forget to do the hair underneath or behind the front hair I end up drawing a little bit of uh, the ear there as well so I was looking for my uh, braid brush that I had used to have but I guess it's not on my new computer so now I gotta remake it the important thing to do while drawing hair is to make sure it drapes properly because hair kind of curves to the shape of whatever it touches You gotta think in terms of weight most of the time. So there's the line art. Now we're gonna start putting in the base colors. I ended up doing a dark green background, that way I can see if there are any holes in what I'm drawing. I went ahead and shaded before I did all the rest of the base colors, and I don't normally do that, but for this time I did. I'm not sure why I did it, but I just wanted to render the skin. I guess I was a little bit antsy to get that done. Be sure to use the selection pen to make gradients a little bit easier because it'll create both a hard edge and a soft edge at the same time, which is what you want in a lot of anime art. So I had a lot of fun drawing the dress. Um, I ended up just putting on down a base layer and then um, using the pen, hitting C on my keyboard to turn it into an eraser, and then carving out the light. I felt like the darker areas I didn't do very good on, but they'll pass, I guess. I added the blush, made the headband look nice. Now I'm pretty sure here pretty soon I'm going to be starting the hair. And I'm trying out something new with the hair, so hopefully I'll be able to explain it well for you. I forgot the bell while I was rendering, so it's a good thing I ended up remembering to put the bell in. So now we're getting to the hair, which is the fun part for me. There we go. So first thing I did was I added a light source and kind of carved it out. It's always good to start that way in my personal opinion because it gives you a good direction for where to put the light. I then add kind of a highlight that's a little bit less than the bright and an add glow on top of the hair to like get a little bit of the skin color reflecting onto the edges where the hair touches the skin. And then the eyes I kind of just paint in myself. Uh, I have an eye tutorial in my uh, tutorials playlist on YouTube that might help. I then add some post-processing and we are almost done. Just making tiny adjustments now, adding a hard light layer, adjusting the tonal curve, checking the hue and saturation and making it grayscale. That way I can see any issues with the uh, things being readable. Add some sparkles, a little white border, and there we go. There's our finished artwork. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. I'll see you next time. Bye.